Hello, myself Chirag Valoria. Today I have teach you pipelining. It is the topic of computer organization and architecture subjects. First of all, what is pipelining? The concept of pipeline processing in a computer similar to assembly lines in an industrial plant. Uh, pipelines are nothing more than assembly lines in computing that can be used either for instruction processing or in a more general sense for performing any complex operation. Third point. To achieving pipelining, one must subdivide the input task. Task means process into sequence of subtasks. It means uh, I will give you one example of particular this pipeline processing. Uh, when we write one complex program, the complex program written in smaller uh, uh, smaller task. So smaller task is it is the subdivided input task of the pipeline. So the concurrent execution of subtask increasing throughput and improve system performance. All of you know that if a particular complex task it is divided into subtasks, so subtask perform one by one and the increasing and throughput ratio of the system performance. Principles of pipelining. In pipelining, specialized hardware stages, also known as hardware segments, are linearly connected to perform a fixed function over a stream of data flowing from one end to another end it means uh, all the hardware attached in serially and one subtask performed from one segment then another segment another uh, subtask is performed in advanced computers pipelines are applied for instruction executions arithmetic computers and memory accessing operations next what is pipeline processor a processor supporting such a hardware architecture is known as pipeline processor the concurrent execution of subtask increasing throughput and improves system performance. Next, uh, first of all, uh, I am uh, one uh, give one example of pipeline processing. Suppose <laughs> we want to perform the combined multiply and add operation with a stream of number. Uh, multiplication and addition operation perform with the help of pipeline processing. First of all, see the equation AI into BI plus ci for i is equal to 1 2 3 4 up to 7 numbers so first of all ai ai is the first input it is stored in the register 1 it means r1 bi is the second input is stored in the register 2 it means r2 input of ai and bi first of all what we have to do we have to first make multiplication with the help of board mass rule so r1 into r2 it is stored in the register 3 so it is R3. Now next input CI. CI is stored into R4. So R4 is register 4. Now the addition of this two register R3 and R4 and store the result in R5. So now we elaborate the particular example. First of all this is the hardware uh, design of particular uh, equation AI into BI plus CI. Now check. AI is the input of R1, BI is the input of R2. So first of all use multiplier circuit. So R1 into R2 store into R3. Now CI is the input of R4. It means register 4. It is directly stored in register 4. Now adder circuit is used. So R3 plus R4. So uh, R3 is equal to R1 into R2. So R1 into R2 plus R4 and the result stored in R5 next the table of particular pipeline processing is that first of all a1 is uh, uh, first a1 is as an input and b1 is also as input so r1 and r2 is the register 1 and register 2 at that time r3 and r4 are null and also r5 is also null so r1 and r2 is segment 1 r3 r4 is segment 2 r5 is segment 3 now we will check in particular hardware circuit so this is segment 1 segment 2 and r5 is segment 3 first of all a1 and b1 is insert into r1 and r2 at that time r3 and r4 are null r5 is also null now check the table uh, a1 is stored into r1 b1 is stored into r2 and r3 r4 and r5 are null when process is going on at that time a1 into b1 is process is going on into r3 now a1 b1 this process is going on here in R3. At that time, A2 and B2 are the input of R1 and R2. Now check that. Uh, A1 into B1 
stored into R3 at that time A2 and B2 are the process of R1 and R2. When A1 into B1 is process is going on at that time segment 2 register 4 is also stored C1 at that time R5 is null. Now uh, when third step is going on it means clock pulse number 3 is going on at that time A3 and B3 is the input of R1 and R2 at that time A2 into B2 process is going on in R3 and C2 is stored in R4 at that time R5 perform A1 into B1 plus C1. Now rest of the uh, steps are follows you can check rest of the steps up to uh, input number is 7 so finally a7 b7 a7 into b7 and c7 is into r4 stored into r4 and finally r5 stores a7 into b7 plus c7 at the clock pulse number 9 next general structure of four segment pipeline a pipeline can be visualized as a collection of processing uh, segments through which binary information flows in circuitry uh, pipeline is used to flow the binary information next each segment perform partial processing dictated by the way the task is partitioned so in example we can see that the r1 into r2 is one task so it is stored here and the r4 comes uh, another input so r3 plus r4 stored here so uh, it is divided into subtask next the result obtained from the computation in each segment is transferred to the next segment in the pipeline. We also check that uh, now R1 and R2 stored first A1 and B1. Now multiplication is used for R1 into R2. It is stored in R3 at that time. Again R1 and R2 take another input A2 and B2. So uh, simultaneously process is going on. It is characteristics of pipeline that several computations can be in progress is in distinct segment at the same time so uh, next the overlapping of computation is made possible by associating a register with each segment in the pipeline so it means all the input stored in register once process is complete and at that time also proce uh, completed process is stored in the register next the register provide isolation between each segment so that each can operate on distinct data simultaneously uh, it means uh, one A2 and B2 is stored into R1 and R2 at that time R3 process R A1 into B1. So next, any operation that can be decomposed into a subsequence of sub operation of about the same complexity can be implemented by a pipeline processor. The technique is efficient for those applications that need to repeat the same task many times with different sets of data. Uh, you can take example of loops. Loops is uh, mostly completed uh, with the help of pipeline the general structure of a four segment pipeline is illustrated in figure so I will uh, show the basic structure of four segment pipeline so first input it is stored in s1 s1 uh, process the data at that time uh, uh, process data is stored into r1 uh, r1 to s2 s2 uh, process the data and stored into r2 when S2 process the data at that time another input is stored into S1 so this process is continuously going up to R4 so this is the segment 1, segment 2, segment 3 and segment 4 so it is called 4 segment pipeline but it is general structure. The operand pass through all 4 segments in a fixed sequence. Each, se each segment consists of a combinational circuit S which performs a sub operation over the data stream flowing through the pipe. Next, the segments are separated by register R. Now you can see that first segment it's, uh, process the data uh, stored in register 1. Second segment process the data stored in register 2. So the segment are separated by register R which hold the intermediate result between the st uh, stages. So information flows between adjacent stages under the control of a common clock applied to all the register simultaneously. We define a task is the total operation performed going through all the segment in the pipeline. So here types of uh, pipeline there are basically three types so one is instruction pipeline, arithmetic pipeline and risk pipeline. In next video you can uh, show the video of instruction pipeline. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirak Palodia.
Thank you.